In lesson two of the second module, the students are learning how to divide a whole number by a fraction. And I taught two different approaches to this, and I would like the students to use whichever approach that they like the best. A construction company is setting up signs on four miles of the road. If the company places a sign every one eighth of a mile, how many signs will it need? Well, the first thing, the first way I showed them is that you can draw four miles by writing, by making four boxes. Okay. The four miles is placing a sign every eighth of a road. So for four miles, for every eighth of a mile. So I'm going to take each one of the miles and I'm going to cut it into eighth pieces. because every mile is getting cut into eighths. Okay, and now the question is saying, okay, how many, really the question is asking us to take four miles and to divide it into eighth sections. Okay, you're really trying to find out how many one-eighths fit into the whole number four. So the kids would just have to say, this is an eighth, this is an eighth, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. There are thirty-two one-eighths that fit into four. Okay? I don't love that way. It works. My mind doesn't necessarily think that way. Um, I, there is another way that I taught the students how to do this, okay? A construction company is setting up uh, signs on four miles of road. Okay, we have to understand that a sign is getting placed every one eighth. Okay, and, and the way I understand this, I know I'm taking four and I'm dividing it into one eighth, okay? One eighth. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four has to be divided by one of the eight sections. So in one of the eight sections, four has to fit into it. Okay, and if four fits in this section, it's fitting here, it's fitting here, all the way down to the end. And four times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight gives you 32. Okay, both pictures work. I find this one to be easier, okay, a lot easier. And as I'm moving with the students from a picture to a more concrete understanding of the division of fractions, I want them to take a look at this division problem and see if they understand how to rewrite it as a multiplication problem. We really took the whole number 4 and we multiplied it by 8, okay? So we kind of flip this guy, okay? And we change division to multiplication, okay? This is where I'm hoping the students are going to um, evolve, okay? Let's see if this same thing, flipping the second fraction and multiplying, works for our second example. I, again, will take the time to show you the two different methods, okay? George bought 12 pizzas for a birthday party. If each person will eat three-eighths of the pizza, how many people can George feed with 12 pizzas? So I'm going to take 12 pizzas. This is crazy. But I'm going to do it for you. Now I'm going to show you why it works. Okay. 12 pizzas. Each person's going to eat three out of the eight slices of a pizza. So that means I'm taking each pizza and cutting it into eighths. And each person is going to have three of the eighths. So I'm going to take each of the pizzas for you. 
and cut it into eighths. Okay. Now that I've taken all the pizzas and cut them into eighths, now I'm gr circling groups of three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, 21, still got that guy hanging out there, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, wow. I can't believe I just did that. Okay, the answer should be 32. I am sorry that I took that much time to show that to you. I don't love that way, but you can do it. Other people might think that's a great way to do it, but let me show you what I would love to see. I would like you to take 12 and divide it into 3 eighths. You draw your tape. Think about it. You're taking 12 and you're dividing it into three of eight sections. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, 12 has to fit into three of the eight sections. So 12 divided by three is four. We're gonna skip count by fours in our tape diagram. Four times eight equals 32. I feel like this way is a lot easier and um, a lot less room for error with the students. Okay, and I also want to say to them, okay, let's think about this. With our first problem, we noticed that instead of taking four and dividing it by an eighth, it's really the same as taking four and multiplying it by the whole number eight. Okay, so you really kept the first number, changed division to multiplication, and you flipped this fraction. It's really 8 over 1. Okay, so let's flip 3 over 8. Let's make it 8 over 3. Every whole number has a 1 underneath it. 12 times 8, 96. 3 times 1, 3. Take your calculator out. 96 divided by 3 is 32. And this is why we draw pictures of dividing fractions to lead students to why we can actually do it. I hope this was a great summary of lesson two from module two.